Hi friends, this is Manish Jain here. Welcome to my career channel, Coach Manish. In this video, we'll look at what are the 38 trends in mechanical engineering in the year 2022. So, before you get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get updates on my latest videos. So, let's get started. This is the 38 trends in mechanical engineering. The first one is additive manufacturing or also it is known as 3D printing. In additive manufacturing, as the name says additive, we manufacture a product by layer by layer, which is opposite of subtractive manufacturing, in which we take a block and subtract the unwanted material. With additive manufacturing, we build the parts layer by layer by depositing material according to digital 3D design. These are the various uh, materials used in additive manufacturing like thermoplastic, ceramic, metals and the application is in the field of jet engine, automotive industries and healthcare. The next one is interconnected machines. As you can see in today's world, the devices are interconnected. For example, a mobile phone is connected with the TV or with our uh, car uh, navigation system and so on. So this way, the machines interact among themselves and make a life easier, which is a wireless communication. So M2M is vital in warehouse management systems. It is also used in remote monitoring and also it plays a vital role in supply chain management. The next one which is very popular is IoT, that is Internet of Things in the field of manufacturing. It is a step towards making traditional factories into smart spaces. Digitalization of factories predicts early malfunctions, they diagnose the problem remotely and increases customer satisfaction and reduce time to repair. A simple example is, say for example, if a JCB is used on the site and after a few hours it requires servicing, so automatically the device sends the communication to the service team and the service team will come to the site before the machine breaks down. So the various examples of IoT example like it is used in uh, security systems, in alarm clocks, electronic appliances and also in household environments. Application of IIT is used in the field of medical health care, building and home automation, transportation. It is also used in manufacturing and agriculture as well. The next one is industry 4.0. We saw industry 1.0 starting with steam engine, then industry 2.0 was mass production, then 3 was the dot com burst the dot com era and industry 4.0 is about cloud computing, artificial intelligence, internet of things and other such big data and so on. So the components of industry 4.0 are smart factory, IoT for manufacturing, dark factories also known as light out manufacturing, 3D printing, 3D printing, big data analytics and so on. The next one is digital manufacturing. As there are more and more automated tools in the manufacturing industry, it is a duty of the industry to model, run the simulation, analyze the machines, input materials and tooling. In digital manufacturing, we use more and more digitalization in terms of manufacturing. For example, we use G-codes, M-codes, which is a CNC uh, machining. Then it is the same goes like flexible manufacturing, lean manufacturing, CIM and design for manufacturing. The next one is biomedical engineering. As you have seen like the robots operating uh, doing surgery, so there is less chance of human error and less chance of fatigue and you have seen prosthetics where we use artificial limb for human beings, then diagnostic of problems using uh, robots and uh, we have robot assistants for uh, post surgery care. So there is a lot of uh, application of engineering principles in the field of uh, biology and medicine for healthcare purposes. And also it has been used in medical devices like dialysis machines, pacemakers, artificial organs, dental implants and so on. And then because of climate change challenges, the world is moving towards more and more green manufacturing. So we have less carbon footprints on the environment and to preserve the environment for the future. So the application of green manufacturing is in green chemistry, green lean manufacturing, so that you use less and less of things what is required. Then it is used in automobile designs and manufacture as the euro norms are there. And the benefits of green manufacturing are the benefits to the companies in terms of tax relief. Then they go for environmental audits which are compulsory now for various industries and so on. 
The challenges of green manufacturing is it's a long term effort, a lot of investment required from the companies, and also increasing production costs to make a greener environment. And then the next one is nanotechnology. It is defined as a manipulation of matter with at least one dimension size from 100 to 1 to 100 nm. It is like the technology which is used in which is nano, which is very minute in nature. It is used majorly in food industry and various other industries and also in healthcare. And these other trends in mechanical engineering, we have alternative energy that is solar energy or other renewable sources of energy so that we are less dependent upon fuel.